Welcome back everyone to a brand new Pokemon Go episode. Today I'm really excited to talk about Pokestops and how to guarantee you guys ton of items when you guys hit up those Pokestops. Last episode was honestly one of the roughest episodes we've ever recorded for Pokemon Go. We had this guy right here appear on our nearby list but we couldn't hunt him down. Eevee right here. We tried two epic evolutions. What did we get? What did we get? We got this guy twice. God damn you Jolteon. But today's a brand new day and I'm sure things will go a lot smoother. And before we even jump into the Pokemon Go headquarters today and update you guys on how the squad's looking, I've got something to set up that I've been meaning to do for weeks now. You guys may remember I showed you guys this and there's some awesome posters in here but I I didn't want to set them up or show them to you guys because they were properly framed. But the frames have come today and I'm so excited to show you exactly how awesome these posters look. Alright, let's set up these posters. Alright, the first frame is done. It took way too long. I've never done this before. So two more to go and I'll show you them at the end. Honestly, they're looking amazing. Alright guys, all three of the posters are now framed. I'm so excited to show them to you guys because honestly they look amazing. So let's turn them around and take a look. Alright, so poster number one. Let's take a look at this one. Oh, look at that. Here we have Blastoise. Number nine on the Pokedex list, looking absolutely awesome. I love him so much. The second one we got here is oh, Charizard. Look at that. Number six on the Pokedex, looking super, super mean. And I've actually saved Venusaur for last, because I actually think the art for Venusaur is the best of all three. So let's take a look at this bad boy. Oh my gosh, look how mean he looks. Of course, number three on the Pokedex list. So those are the three posters I've got finally fully framed and hopefully we can work out a space to put them on our awesome wall behind us. So I think it could look quite cool if the three go along the wall there. But hopefully you guys really like them. I'm so glad they're finally framed and I can't wait to put them up in our setup room. Hey Evie, excited to catch some Pokemon today, beautiful? Of course you are, of course you are. So you guys can see the new posters down on that side over there. We'll work out a place to put them. I absolutely adore them. I've got a few things to show you guys today here in the Pokemon Go headquarters. You can see we've got loads of eggs and I had, was it, four I think it was? 2k eggs all incubated at the same time. They're all hatched in a row and fingers crossed we can get a starting Pokemon or even a Pikachu. I'd love a Pikachu because I really want to ride you. Like in my head when I think about Pikachu it doesn't evolve but obviously it does. So it'd be awesome to get a Raichu at some point but what I want to do here is show you guys two things. One, my Pokedex, so you guys can see how, how well I'm doing and what I don't currently have in terms of Pokemon. And also a little, like, weird Easter egg glitch that someone showed me a while ago, and I've never seen anyone mention it, and nobody's ever really done anything with it. And it could potentially lead to something like a, a mini Easter egg within the game. So, first off, let's take a look at our Pokedex. So, we've got 107 caught. 118. That's kind of scary because I'm actually getting closer to completion and I don't want this experience to end. If I get anywhere near close to getting all Pokemon, I pray they add in Generation 2 as soon as possible. So, looking at the start here, we obviously don't have all the final evolutions of the starters or even a Charmeleon at the moment. Raichu, I just mentioned. Sandslash from Sandshrew, we don't have at the moment. Uh, the Nido ran both female and male evolution, we don't have. Clefairy and Volpix, we still need to evolve. And the Oddish full evolution will be up to Vileplume, we still don't quite have. But we've got a lot of candies on the way to that progress. Uh, Diglett into its evolution, we don't have at the moment. Mankey's evolution, we don't have. The whole Abra and also Machop evolution, I really want both of those, but currently not quite there. The full Bellsprout evolution is almost there. We've got a lot of those candies, but not quite. The Geodude evolution, the Ponyta evolution, I have enough candies. I'm just, I want to do the Ponyta and Arcanine evolution, like at the same time. I'm on both of those guys, so when we get more Growlithe candies, we'll definitely do that. Uh, we've got a few like li little missing ones there. Obviously, Gengar is missing from there. Mux missing from there. Uh, Execute into Executor is a really good evolution, but again, candies are lacking, unfortunately. Hitmonchan would be great from a 10k egg. The Cubone into Marowak evolution. The Coughing into Weezing evolution. And then if we get towards the end of the list here, there's a few ones missing, like Gyarados, unfortunately. We also have the Onomite and Kabuto evolution. Then the one Pokemon we've seen but not caught is Dragon Air. Of course, getting Dragon Knight would be unreal, but that's currently where we stand on the awesome Pokemon Go 
Pokedex update. And I also told you guys, got a little bit of a weird Easter egg. So you guys can all do this at home, boot up Pokemon Go, and that Pokeball bottom at the bottom, press it and keep your thumb held down. So I'm gonna press it right here, keep my thumb held down, and while your thumb is still on the screen, put it over any of the icons and notice how they flash a different color. Pokemon goes orange, shop goes purple, Pokedex goes red, and items go blue. Now, I, I, I've tried doing weird combinations, like going back and forth in between them all. Um, it, it hasn't done anything, but I want you guys, since like millions of you guys literally watch this video, I want you guys to mess around with it and see if you can get it to do anything. So try doing Pokemon five times and then evolving something, or try going all over them once and then like, I don't know, tr like swiping over a Pokestop. See if it does anything. Could just be a weird easter egg that does nothing, but I think maybe, potentially, there's something deeper to this. So guys, those are my updated Pokedex entries. Leave a comment down below or take a screenshot and tweet it at me, letting me know how far you've come so far of your Pokedex in Pokemon Go. Now just before we head out and hit up these Pokestops to get that guaranteed load of items from that mega Pokestop, I've got some clips I actually recorded a few weeks ago, where I went out to meet up with a guy called Noah. He was really, really nice, unfortunately he's very, very ill, but through an awesome charity foundation here in the UK called Rays of Sunshine. He got to meet up with me as one of his wishes and we got to spend some time together playing a little bit of Pokemon Go, just chatting about me, him, my videos and having an awesome, awesome time. So I want to wish Noah and his family all the best with all of the operations you've got to go through and he's such a nice, such a nice guy and we had a great time together. So here are some clips of Noah and I hanging out and spending some time together and then we'll go after those Pokestops. So I am spending some time today. I've driven down in the R8. I brought in one of my Pokemon Go hats, a little gift. We're going to spend some time with him today. Now, I'm not sure if he wants to be on camera. If he does, we'll definitely include him in the vlog. If not, I just want to give him a shout out regardless, and we're going to have some fun today. So, guys, we're here with Noah, and we've been chatting away, and we've also got Esme's sister as well. Now, you've been talking loads and loads, and honestly, I think Noah's a better Zombies player than I am. So, what's your favourite Zombies map? What's the highest round you've gotten to? Because you've gotten to a very high round, haven't you? Then 35 in the giant. 35. And the giant Black Ops 3 zombies. This guy is really good. I got to good. like prestige 1, rank 31. I'm, I'm nearly rank 32. 32. And what games are you telling me that you're really looking forward to coming out as well? Because Noah's a big game. You probably play more games than me, and you're better at the games than me. So, what other games are you looking forward to? Infinity Warfare. Infinite Warfare. And was it Battlefield 1 you want to play as well? Um, Which games are you playing at the moment? Playing like. Black Ops 3 a lot. Black Ops 3, I'm nice. Trying to see if I can get the Prestige Master. Prestige Master. I'm really glad you like your hat. We've had loads of fun chatting today. Honestly, Noah's been teaching me loads about zombies, so it's been awesome. Noah's requested to have a look at my car, so we're going to show him the R8. It's actually quite dirty. I feel bad. I should have washed it for you guys, but let's take a look. What do you guys think of the car? Do you like it? Kind of comfortable. It's comfortable. I think Claire just sleeps in this. You think Claire just sleeps in it? She does. Look how far Claire has the seat back when she lies there. So so far back. I've got it nice and upright. Claire just rests as I drive around everywhere. I'm a personal chauffeur, aren't I? So we've had a really good time today, haven't we? Have you had fun, Noah? Awesome. That's the main thing. Now, these guys are actually off to Legoland. Well, I'm very jealous, but I can't join you guys, unfortunately. But we've had a really good time. I'm really glad I got to meet Noah and the rest of his family as well. We got to check out the car. We got to chat for ages and ages and ages about video games. So it's been awesome and really good fun. So a huge shout out to Noah. I had to include him in the vlog. He was such a nice guy and he was such a fan of my videos. He knew like which round I'd gotten to on Zombies like three years ago on Black Ops 2. Unreal memory, such a nice guy. So I've just arrived where we're going to be testing out this poker stop mega drop theory to guarantee eggs, guarantee loads of items. Look at this. So in a nearby vicinity, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 poker stops in total. So let me explain exactly what we're about to do. So as I mentioned to you guys, a mega poker stop, a stop which gives you loads of items. Essentially, it's been worked out online that if you go in a row to 10 unique poker stops without overlapping any poker stops you've been to prior in that chain, the 10th poker stop will be what's called a mega poker stop, which will guarantee you six plus items and will be absolutely awesome. So the definitive 
way of knowing you got a mega poker stop is the experience you get from it. Obviously, normally you get 50 XP for a poker stop, you will get 100 experience points for a mega poker stop. So, not only will you have gotten a load of items, you will have gotten a little bit of extra XP. So, check that bottom left corner when you're spinning for that mega poker stop on your 10th spin and you'll know you've got it. So, that's why I've come to a location with so many unique poker stops in a row. So for example, if I went to six different poker stops and then went back to one that had just regenerated after the five minute limit and went to that, I would break the chain. So it's like chaining together unique poker stops. So you need to do 10 in a row. None of them can be the same. So you need to be making sure that you've got loads nearby you. I mean, the reason that most people haven't figured this out is because probably if you're spinning through poker stops, you'll get to a point where you stop and one will like come back again and you'll spin it and you will have broken your chain, but you won't have realized it. It's very simple, should be very, very easy. And that's why we're gonna go through one by one, 10 poker stops. And I'm gonna be going through every single one with you guys. And when we get to the 10th one, we will watch it drop items down on us, so let's go do this. All right guys, we've got our first egg hatch of the day. I don't think this is all of a 2K eggs. I think it's one that I was previously working off. I think it's a 5K. Let's take a look and see what it's gonna be. Come on, give me something new. The 5K still have ones. It's, it is a 2K. This could be all of our 2Ks back to back then. Let's see how we're doing. No, it's not quite. Okay, let's take a look. We've got one free slot now, but we, okay, we're nowhere near walking off the others yet. We'll get a 5K next. And then we'll get the one, two, three, four 2K eggs all hatching at once. And then we're gonna hit up these poker stops. I literally could not have asked for a nicer day to go outside hatching eggs and testing out this pokey stop theory. It is beautiful. And you know what's also beautiful? Getting a great Pokemon from a 5K egg, which is what I'm hoping is gonna happen right now, as it is time to hatch the 5K bad boy. As long as it's something I need to evolve. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Literally mentioned this. Oh, oh my gosh, I've got enough candies for it as well. No way. Okay, okay, let's check up on it. Hold on, guys. So this is my best execute right here, 6118. This is the guy just hatched at 592. You guys may remember when I was in London with Ov, I was like, execute evolves into such a strong executor. The multiplier is really strong. You often see executors in gym. This is so good. Now, the question is. Basically, I want to do a big like evolution video. I do loads of evolving all together. So I'm gonna keep hold of that evolution for the moment, although I am so, so excited for it. And we'll do it very soon, because trust me, Executor could be one of our strongest Pokemon ever in our party. So one of our first wild captures of the day is a Nidoran female at 528. I want to say this is one of the strongest Nidoran females I've got. And obviously, we're still working towards that Nido Queen and Nido King. So every one of these guys we can capture is super useful. Maybe Ultra Ball's a little bit overkill, but it's a great Ultra Ball throw. This definitely, unless it runs, should secure it. I see no reason for it not to. Go on. Hey, love that. Awesome. I was hoping from this guy actually for a 5k egg. So the fact that we got a wild one is awesome. Let's see. 63 candies. I want to know if it's the best one we've got so far though. I thought so. If you look at that, 528 beats out the 471 beats out the 433. So definitely our best Nidoran so far. In fact, that's better than any of the male Nidorans we've gotten. So we need to up our male Nidoran game and capture more of those guys too. Guys, it is finally time for four of the 2k eggs back to back to back to back and we can finally hit up those 10 poker stops in a row so how lucky am i honestly i don't think i'm gonna get a single starting pokemon if i got a magic card okay no 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 already starting off with a ratata not about that life I, I was wondering why i was like you know what i swear i shouldn't have that many ratata candies like oh of course they come from the eggs as well i haven't caught a proper ratata in so long i just completely ignore them now second one of the day baby we don't man <laughs> This is just not gonna happen, is it? It's, it's fun though. I like doing two kegs back to back to with you guys. Third one. Give me the Pikachu. Give me something mad. Go on. Oh. All right. Three quarters of the ones down. Is it gonna be? It's not even a 400 plus Pidgey. Final 2k egg. Has it been worth the two kilometers I've just walked to hatch all of these guys? Oh. <laughs> you know what? It's all good. As you can see right here. There are the first four pokey stops. So let's start this off, all right? I'm gonna do them all with you guys, all 10 of them, okay? So here we go. First poker stop, the sun in. What's it gonna give us? Okay, two pokeballs and a great ball. One poker stop down. Time for the second poker stop. A few great balls and an egg. Nice, not too bad. Third poker stop. Let's wait for it to load in. 
the Pokestop only gave us a Pokeball and a Raspberry and a Potion, so not that good. Three out of a 10 down. Let's hit up the fourth one. And the fourth one is gonna give us, okay, just a few Pokeballs and a Great Ball, so that's fine. Four out of the 10 Pokestops we need to chain together down. Let's hit up the next six. The fifth Pokestop is gonna be, oh, another egg, nice. But again, it's not a Mega Pokestop. So now it's time for the sixth Pokestop in a row. Again, just Pokeballs. Four more to go. What's gonna happen? The seventh Pokestop is right here. So let's spin it. Okay, a few Pokeballs and revive. That's the final three Pokestops we need. Let's see what number eight is gonna give us. Just the boring old Pokeballs. So here we go, guys. Will this theory work? This is Pokestop nine and 10. Let's do this. The so number nine is just gonna be, okay, it's an egg, but it's boring. I pray this works, all 10 in a row, all unique. Is this gonna be a crazy, crazy drop? One, two, three, four, five, six, plus 100 XP. So guys, that proves it was a mega poker stop because we got the 100 XP rather than the 50 XP. It gave us far more items than normal. So you guys now, if you know you're going to an area with lots of poker stops, can make sure you never double back on yourself Never get the same one over and over, and you can guarantee on your 10th Pokestop a mega Pokestop. So if you guys at any time want to go back and check just what you got from your Pokestops, if you click on your character, click in the bottom right, and then click Journal, you can see this is the point where I received the mega Pokestop with six items, and everything prior to that was just threes or fours, a lot lower, and nothing like the plus six we got. All of our eggs were filled up, but what it means now is I'm going to incubate all of these. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five K eggs at one one time and then three 2k eggs at one time the next time we're hatching. So guys, the theory of those mega poker stops is true. It works. It will guarantee you six plus items. So if you're out and about, try to chain together those 10 unique poker stops and you'll end up with a load of items to put in your inventory in Pokemon Go. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a big fat thumbs up. We've got a load more eggs lined up for next episode. I've got loads of good evolutions, including that Ponyta, Execute and more. But I'm waiting until I've got the better version of the Ponyta and a better version of that Execute before I go and touch them. I want higher CPs, baby, but we'll do it soon. Do not worry. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you found this video useful. My feet are so tired after all that walking today. But I'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new Pokemon Go episode.